Welcome to my first official day at Dickie's Unusual Skate Park in Texas. Right now, there's someone who works here that's right over there. I hope he doesn't kick us out. No. Uh, okay, so nobody gets skate here right now? Go ahead. Unfortunately, the sprinklers came onto the park. Hopefully, they fix this in the future, but the water is just running through a lot of the park. We are kind of limited, but we still have a ton of stuff. We pretty much have this entire half to skate. I say we just skate. If you want to see the full detail of everything built, I'll link my other video down below. But today is really about skating and trying to get a session in as fast as we can before we would potentially get kicked out. So let's just start tinkering. Okay, so I just focused on one tiny aspect of the skate park, which is this middle section. Grind to manuals, to all different types of combinations you can do. And just this obstacle alone kind of makes this like my favorite skate park in the DFW area. I know I'm overly optimistic all the time, but this park is the most futuristic park in DFW period in terms of time built, but also just in terms of the obstacles. This is very, very innovative and clearly someone who put time into this park has a lot of idea about skateboarding. They know exactly where skateboarding is going and what people want to skate because just that alone was so fun. And that's like an eighth of the skate park. Apparently this park is actually supposed to open up this week, which means all the tricks will start happening soon. But it's really crazy to get what seems like the first grind on certain obstacles. Just the way they grinded, I could tell that it was the first time they were hit. So right now we're at the big section. I would go around and skate every little thing, but if you want to see the skate park in detail, again, I did film a video about it already, but I'm going to get into skating potentially like the big section. It's still a little dusty, a little sketchy, so I'm not going to go full ham, but I do want to at least touch each little big thing uh, and just have fun. I'm having like a lot of fun right now. a bit of a flaw in the design unfortunately so right here I've been skating this stair set I also noticed something about myself that I'll talk about a little bit later but it's fairly long which actually makes it great because it means it's mellow it's low to get onto but you do have to hold the grind if you don't hold it you know you do have a chance of sacking which means that you want a lot of speed and that's the unfortunate part if you look at the run-up there's only about 20 feet to throw down and skate. There's no big transition here that leads you into the ramps. So you're kind of just stuck to your own devices, which would be fine, but it's a very quick throw down and then setting up quickly. And it also goes slightly uphill. So the run up for this really is not the best, unfortunately. It's the first flaw we found, but at the same time, it's not like I'll be skating this stuff that often. Let's keep up the skating a bit. And I want to talk about something I've realized about myself and my own skating that is a little scary, but I'll talk about it at the end. I just want to keep hitting things before we dip.
actually one of the coolest feeling tricks I've ever done. This is the best skate park ever. This is actually my favorite skate park already now in DFW. It's so modern, it's so cool that everything connects in such an interesting way. And to be able to do that kickflip manual up and then back down to switch nose grind, like what, where are you gonna find an obstacle that looks just like that? It's very rare. Obviously there's transition in the park and I should have gotten to it today, but there's just so much to skate that it's gonna take like three or four videos to finally tap into everything. But let me talk about what I've discovered about myself skating that stair set. A lot of times people have asked me how I conquer fear. And in reality, I feel like I don't that much. I really just kickflip off a curb 200 times and then I can kickflip a two stair. So my muscle memory is just so built in that the next thing I go to, it doesn't even feel like a hard obstacle. But when I was skating that stair set just now, I found it really difficult to overcome the little bit of fear I was feeling for certain tricks. That's why all the tricks I did down the rail and the hubba, even though I'm stoked on them they're pretty basic tricks for stairs and hubbas and rails and i really felt no inclination to try anything that was scary oh what up how you living man kick the first try hell no dude i kick the first try not man not no warm-up ollie first try let me see i'll do an ollie first try. hey <laughs> that was good wow that was a big ass kickflip He's skating the plastic grip tape, so a, a lot of people actually skate it really well, uh, but it doesn't rip your shoes at all. I mean, that was so good though. Oh, that was so good. No trays? I switched trucks and the wheelbase and the length that I... Excuses, this guy. First try! Dude, what are you talking about? These are so good. He skates this non-abrasive grip tape and you can just clean it right off if it gets dusty by wiping it on your ass or shirt. That's incredible. Oh my God. If I just go slow, that'll You gotta admit that was super good. You popped it high. Good Lord. Authentic fist bump on camera. That's how you know it's legit. I've noticed at this stage in my life, I am less inclined to try things that truly terrify me. I'm not really willing to go through the painful experiments because I still go through them a lot today and I just want to reduce that in my life because I've been sore, hurt since I was 15 years old. It's been like 15 years of nonstop just being in pretty much continuous pain. And I think I finally just want to have a slightly more relaxed body and skateboarding, I have to just take it easy and be a little more mellow. So I think I am gonna even reduce the amount I skate down rails, hub of stairs, all that stuff, anything that feels sketchy and just do more tinkering, skate tinkering. I think I'm just gonna be that guy, which I guess happens to anyone who ages within skateboarding. As the crowd's rolling in, I am actually heading out. I've, I've got my two hours in, so I'm pretty exhausted. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned every Tuesday and Thursday for a new one on this channel. And I will be doing more skateboarding, not only at this skate park, but just a lot in general. Right now, uh, putting out like five videos a week. So two on this channel, three on my Progress Daily channel. I hope you enjoyed, take care, Progress Daily, and keep killing it.